Hey everyone. The last couple days I've been doing some research into Kinder Eggs because, like, I've always heard uh, about how they're banned in the U.S., but I've been seeing them the last couple of years. Well, it turns out there's actually a slightly different kind of Kinder Egg called a Kinder Joy Egg that squeaks by uh, U.S. Uh, like safety laws and stuff, so yeah. Anyway, normal Kinder Eggs come are like candy eggs with little prizes inside, and at one point uh, in Italy, I believe, or maybe it's in France, I don't know. I think it, oh yeah, it is Italy. I have this little uh, paper band thing that I got with these figurines here from Dino Thunder. Uh, yeah, in Italy, when Dino Thunder aired over there, they got these little guys inside Kinder Eggs. Isn't that cool? So anyway, I'm going to go over some of these, but first I want to talk about this little uh, piece of paper that I got with these. There's like a little picture list of all the different rangers. Let's see. Just their colors, no names. Oh, and the, whoops, Triassic mode, Red Ranger says Triassic. Uh, let's see. Zeltrax, Triptoid, Triptoid Blanco, Dolce Preziosi. Oh, we got a little look at what the eggs look like. Uh, they were wrapped in foil, apparently, and they look kind of like uh, footballs, American footballs. Um, and all that stuff. Oh, and Trent's the only one standing. Trent wins. So let's go over each of these individually right here. We have uh, the Red Ranger, Connor. And uh, how about for size comparison, I put him next to a standard Lego figurine. I have this custom 2017 movie Lego Ranger here. So yeah, they're about... Lego figurine size. Anyway, for the size of these things, I'm really surprised at the level of detail on these. Like, this looks like the type of thing you get from Japan for Sentai. This doesn't look like the type of thing you'd get for Power Rangers. Like, even the chest logo, the detail on it's accurate. Even the wrist morpher. Look at that. Look at the detail. You can see, like, the little dinosaur head on it. Isn't that cool? Like, the sculpting on this is really, really good. Oh, they didn't paint the back of the hand. Is that supposed to have paint on it anyway? I don't remember. Anyway, so there's Connor. A really, really nice-looking figurine. And Kira next. Another really, really nice-looking little figurine. No articulation on any of these on any of these figurines, but uh, yeah, the detail on these is just amazing. I'm so impressed they were able to put so much into these tiny little figures, and also that like these weren't even like just sold as figurines. These came with candy originally. I mean, it was basically like a blind bag thing, but a blind bag that comes with a chocolate egg. From what I can find, I don't think there were Kinder Eggs of any other Power Ranger teams, just Dino Thunder. And so next up, here's Ethan. Ethan is a very, very dark blue. It doesn't quite show up because of the light on my camera, but believe me, uh, yeah, he is extremely dark blue. He shows up really nice on the camera. Let's see, you gotta focus on his wrist there. One weird thing, the visor on his helmet looks like it's down too low. Or maybe they just used way too much white paint, but it's understandable given, like, how tiny these are. Like, seriously, it's, like, barely the size of, like, the tip of my thumb. Let's see, there's even, like, text on the back of their legs there, copyright information and all that. Anyway, like Connor and Ethan, or Connor and Kira, Ethan is very, very detailed, really, really nice figure. And so, uh... Last up for the standard rangers, here we got uh, Dr. O. Another really, really nice figure, detail in the wrist morpher. That is so cool that they even put detail in the wrist morpher. Oh, and look at that. Look at the helmet. The little purple eyes and the red, like, spot on the front of that fin there. That is really, really cool. The pose on this guy, unfortunately, doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Like, Ethan is in this kind of fighting pose. Uh, Connor looks like maybe he's calling somebody on the wrist thing. Uh, Kira's... 
Like he has her arm up at something. But Dr. O there, yeah, he's just standing there straight at he kinda looks like a vinyl figure from Japan, except he's teeny tiny and doesn't move. So then next up, uh let's see. Here we get Triassic Mode Red Ranger. Now this is like a really good showcase of the level of detail on these. If the camera would stop going out of focus, that'd be that'd be great. Just look at all the intricate details on the shoulder armor. That is really cool. My camera uh, really freaking hates this for some reason. <laughs> and last up for the Rangers is Trent. So here we got Trent, who, again, like uh, Ethan, the camera brightens him up quite a bit because of the light. Uh, if you If I didn't have the light on, I think it'd be a little bit clearer that he's, I don't know if he's faded a bit. He's very off-white, which, again, you can't really see it on the camera because of the bright light shining on him. But yeah, he's very yellowed. I don't know if it's part of, like, being inside candy or if maybe he just wasn't white to begin with. Then again, uh, the Triptoid... Oh, and this is something. You can definitely see the different white that he is from the Triptoid. The Triptoid's got a little bit of yellowing on his arm there, but otherwise he's, like, all fine. So I don't know why Trent is, like, so yellowed. But anyway, detail, really, really nice. Uh, they got the visor really good there. Some paint looks like it's scratching off there. Here's a morpher. Painted all the way around. That is really impressive for toys that were, like, just little bonuses from candy. So anyway, next up, let's talk about that white triptoid. Or, well, mostly white with the yellow arm, which, oh, the yellow does actually kind of show up compared to the yellow. Oh, and it's a separate piece, so I don't know, maybe there were different... Oh, wait, no, his leg is kind of yellowing, too, a little bit. Oh, well, anyway, uh, the detail on the triptoid here is really, really good. Oh, and one of the really cool things, I'll show you the other triptoid in a minute here. Whoops. There's the other Triptoid, the black one, compared to the white one. They have different poses. That's really impressive to see something like that. Like, usually these just foot soldier grunt figures, they don't bother, like, sculpting a whole new figure of them. So that's pretty impressive that they actually put these guys in different poses, although whoops, I think maybe they just swapped the arm around on this one, but it is, like, attached to his leg, so... Uh, I don't know. Oh, white does not want to stand up. Okay, there, there he stands up. So anyway, back to uh, Black Triptoid. The colors are really, really nice. They really pop well on this guy. Turn him all the way around there. The Triptoids look uh, really cool. Too bad there was, uh, there was no Tyrannodrones. I don't know why they didn't do Tyrannodrones. They would have been really nice to see as these teeny tiny little figures. Okay, and last up here is Zeltrax. Zeltrax looks amazing, uh, this little figurine. Now, his arm is out in a weird way. I thought maybe he was holding a sword and it had broken off. There's like a little blue dot on the other side of his hand, but like I found other images of him. He's not holding anything in any picture of this figurine I can find. So, yeah, I don't know why his arm is out like that, I guess. I don't know, maybe he's getting ready to punch someone. Like, maybe this Triptoid did something dumb, and he's like, <laughs> Anyway, take a look at the detail on Zeltrax here. You can see all the detail on his helmet there. That is amazing. Uh, the body detail, really cool. He got the little spikes on his elbows there. Even the back is painted. He's got those little silver things. And, oh, there's that little thingy on his uh, shin there. They even got that. That is amazing attention to detail. So yeah, these are really, really cool little figurines. Um, if you're able to find these, like I've seen these on eBay. That's where I got these from. Let's see, mine were all together in a set. It was about 25 bucks for all of these things, plus some international shipping. But I've seen these like individually and... Yeah, they're not too 
pricey, I don't think. If you're a big Dino Thunder fan or Abba Ranger fan, or if you just want some weird little niche Power Ranger collectible, uh, yeah, these are a pretty cool little thing to find. I wouldn't know if they still had any that were, like, in eggs. If they did, I wouldn't recommend eating it because they'd be about 20 years old now. So, yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed this. See ya.